What's up, YouTube? Holy Peps here. I'm going to be going over a funny league game I had. It's actually quite comical. It's sad at the beginning, but it just gets better as it goes on, so just try to stick with it. So, I ended up getting paired with this Runeglaive Israel. His name is WFX Leviathan, right? And pretty much he had a bad lane phase. And the reason why I was pissed off at him is because during my second buff rotation, he ended up taking my blue, which I was like, okay, it's fine. I go do my Grump, Wolves, Wraiths, then I go to my Red, and he, in the middle of me doing Red, he E's into the pit, and then Q's it and smites it. He has smite, as because he's going Runeglaive, and he's also in a solo lane, which means that he has more XP than me, which means his smite is stronger. So, not only did he take my blue buff, but he also took my red buff, which, obviously, that kind of sets you behind. And it's very annoying when that happens. So... I was already pissed off. I didn't say anything to him because I, I didn't want to, like, get really mad at him. I didn't want him to feed any harder than what he was because he's already 0-2. And it basically transitioned from him feeding a little bit to feeding, like, hardcore mayhem. So I ended up dying, I want to say, I think once or twice. In the time span it took him like dying four times like it was ridiculous like he was feeding left and right so my third buff rotation i went off and i went to my blue he immediately charged over there went smited and everything i was like whatever it's fine hopefully he'll have blues so he can play passive q farm i go and take my grump go and take wolves go and take race go to take red buff he goes over there again I'm like, nah, that ain't happening twice. So I go cue it with uh, spider form because I'm playing Elise. And I smite it, right? And during that time, I get the red buff. And he E's into the pit to go and steal it from me. And then he starts raging on me, saying, Elise needs red buff more than Israel? Dude, Elise needs red buff more than Israel? And just repeats that line like three times. I'm like, I'm behind, I need the gold, and I need the XP. And he's like, blah, blah, you don't need the XP, I need it more than you do. I'm like, you're like 0-3. What the fuck do you need my red buff for, to give it to the enemy Oriana? I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking. So, I already hate this guy. Pretty much just a scumbag. So, he ends up giving up another kill, I want to say a minute later. He ends up trash talking. He does the whole going into all chat thing. Basically starts flaming our entire team. He's not even focused on me now. He's focused on bot lane and top lane because they're not following up on his plays. He's this grandmaster shot caller. He says that he's making calls, but our, our team's just not following him. That's the reason why we're losing. And it's kind of comical our team was like, dude, you're just terrible. You're bad. And it got to the point where, like, Rengar jumped in and was like, yeah, dude, if I was your jungler, I would have totally ganked more for you. And it, it, it was kind of funny. Like, basically, uh, Rengar was just rubbing it in. And then Oriana jumped in, too, and was like, you know, Israel, you're quite trash. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Israel, I mean, not Israel. Uh, ugh, what am I saying? Uh, Oriana. Oriana made my day. Oriana was just like calling him out. And then Israel was like, the only reason why you won was because of Maokai. And uh, Oriana was like, nah, the reason why I won is because I absolutely destroyed you in lane. Every time Maokai went to gank you, you were already dead. So he couldn't really do anything. It's actually quite true. He only got one successful gank on Israel. Because every time Israel went to lane, he was dying because he kept on eating into an Oriana and expecting to live. Which was quite sad. So, uh, game, game ends, he's still trash talking, I basically, uh, go and add him, I'm like, you know, you shouldn't be trash talking when you go 1 in 10 and you're the worst person on our team, and you're probably the reason why we lost, and well, let me actually see here, uh, you trash talk when you're the worst player on our team, that's what I said, exact words, right, so... To sum up his extremely bad English, which I, I'm pretty sure he's, English is his first language, he pretty much uh, tells me that his first item, or uh, Israel has a really weak early game, which is kind of known, 
But on the three ganks that I did mid lane, even after he did all this bullshit to me, because there was no, I couldn't gank bot lane, I couldn't gank top lane, and all my camps were cleared, I might as well gank mid lane. Oriana was overextended. So, on the three ganks I did mid lane, two out of three of them I landed the snare, and on all three of them he did not follow up at all. He did not follow up in any way, shape, or form. Again, or I don't know if I said this this video, but there was no bad blood between us until my third buff rotation on my red. That's when he started harassing me. And that's the best part. Because even though I camped his lane really hard and landed snares and everything, he just he just didn't follow up and then he expects to get every single buff of mine. That's that's freaking ridiculous. So, uh, basically, pretty much telling me, again, that Rune, he doesn't have any damage until he has a uh, Rune Glaive and Luden's Echo, which is quite bullshit. If that's the truth, then Rune Glaive Israel is absolutely terrible. You don't have any damage until you have Rune Glaive and Luden's Echo? You might as well be playing freaking Gangplank mid, then. Like, the fuck are you doing? Okay. So, this is the thing that really made this comical. Okay. You know that little thing called the LCS? Or, I don't think he worded it like that, but we're just going to go out. You know that little LCS thing that people play? I won one of those tournaments. I'm like, bullshit. Nah. Nah, that, that ain't true. You're outclassed here. On game knowledge, kid. See you later. I'm like, this guy's such a fucking liar. Like, I was just like trying to screw with him a little more because when someone does that, you just can't help but laugh. Then he links me this. And you know what this is? This is his Twitter account. This is the sad thing. Oh my gosh. He actually has 11k followers and he has, or wait, yeah. He's 421 following, 11k followers, right? Let's go to his tweets. So he kept on calling me a fanboy. And this is what he typed. I told him to uh, type Holy Pepsi sucks on his Twitter page. And he, er, yeah, and he ended up not doing it, but he said, I hate fanboys. And he did it within like 20 seconds of spamming it. So it was actually him. But it's sad to see someone, oh my god, someone who quote unquote what an LCS to get absolutely raped, blame his teammates, and overall just be the worst fucking possible person. Like, you would think Casey Tron or Nick Tron would be behind this keyboard. He was raging so much, it was fucking comic gold. Like, I'm actually mad that I did not record the gameplay. Because the reason why I was playing Elise is because Elise has a 29% win ratio. Let me let me show you guys. Okay, uh, Google uh, League. NA, lowest win rate. Oh, wow, I actually went up to 38%. Or no, 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 that's daily, monthly. There we go. Okay, 27.23%. I was like, you know, Elise has a really bad win rate. I think Elise is actually a pretty good champion. Why is Karthus up there? Next video might be a Karthus video. You hit R and you hit Q. That's all you have to do. But anyways... I was basically playing Elise because I wanted to do a Bronze of Challenger episode featuring her. And yeah, I'm definitely not the best Elise player. The reason why I'm plat 4 right now is because I'm constantly playing random champions. Like I'm doing like trying to do Bronze of Challenger episodes. And it's just it's just sad that I get paired with people like this. And it's actually quite funny because when you say you're from you won an LCS, right? And you were so, so good to win an LCS. But then you get paired with me and you're basically stuck in Platinum 5 ELO. There is some 
there's some problems. And I just can't get over the fact that, like, he was, like, hyping himself up so much. I'm like, dude, you have, like, 400 games played, and you're clearly not better than me. You're pretty much at my skill level. And I'm playing random champions. That's the reason why I'm here. If I was to sit down and just basically play, like, Kale Jungle, or maybe, like, I don't know, Ari Mid, I'd... Probably within a month, I would get Platinum 1. Possibly even Diamond. But that's me relying on a few champions. And what happens is, the reason why I don't do that, is because I get really, really burnt out on League when I play one champion. Like, it is really, really boring. I did that from going from uh, Silver to Gold. I played a lot of Azir Jungle. And that was terrible. Like, every single game... I guess it, it would probably not be as bad as Zero Jungle because I had so many people troll games when I was like literally going on eight game win streaks. But, jeez, when you get paired with former LCS pros, the fuck do you do when they feed, when they go one in ten? Like, how do you even defend yourself? Like, I wouldn't be making. Even if this said, dude told me he was an LCS pro, I wouldn't be making this video. Unless he trash talked, which he did a massive amount of fucking trash talking, and I just find it fucking funny. And I really hope someone in this video can tell me this guy's really not an LCS pro. Because if he is, then what the fuck is this guy doing? Like, I feel like I'm trick 2G right now because they fuck every single word. It's sad, like... What can, what, what can you say? Like, oh, sorry, dude. I won an LCS, but somehow I got stuck in Platinum. I don't fucking see Dyrus get stuck in Platinum. If if I gave Dyrus, like, a Diamond account, he would, within, like, 20 games, he would get out of Diamond. Pro I don't know. I'm just making shit up as I go at this point, but, like, how? How do you go from, like, Clearly, if he actually won an LCS tournament, how do you go from, like, one of the best players in the world to absolute fucking garbage? I would love to know that. Anyways, guys, the, it has been proven. We now finally have the answer everyone's been waiting for. The answer is, is that pros can fucking feed their faces off and still think that they're good. Well, I guess that's what makes some pros. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. This rant was actually funny. And if you think I'm actually mad about this, I'm actually not. Because I think this is kind of comic gold. Like, this is comical. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. When you fucking feed that badly in trash talk and then actually turn out to be someone who was once upon a time really, really good, it's just fucking sad.